Hello, welcome back to Christmas Airlines. We're continuing our trip celebrating Christmas around the world. Today's destination is the United States. We're going to be going to both the United States and Mexico on our trip today. So are you excited? Buckle up. Here we go. Here we are at the airport headed towards the United States. I hope you packed your bags and are ready for an amazing journey around the world. Make sure your boarding pass is ready as we travel to New York City to learn traditions about Christmas in the United States. If you look out your window, you can see Santa and his reindeer. Not too much longer until we land in New York City. All right, we've already been to Australia, China, Canada, so we have our uh, visa stickers from there. Right now, we've landed in New York City of the United States, so we need our U.S. visa. There it is, added to our passport. We are here in New York City in the United States, but where is the United States in the world? Let's look at our world map. You should have that open from your very first uh, page in your scrapbook. You have stars over Australia, Asia, and Canada in North America. Well, now we need to add our star to America. You can put that anywhere in America. America is that space where that big purple star is. That's where America is. So we're visiting America. All right, there are 50 states in the U.S., and the U.S. is part of the continent of North America. It is bordered by Canada to the north and Mexico to the south. So we just traveled from Canada, and the very next country, which we're going to travel to today, would be Mexico, right below it. The U.S. flag has a blue field of white stars and then red and white stripes. So when you color in the flag on, um, on our scrapbook page for today, make sure you color it with blue behind the stars and then red and white stripes. The first place we're going is Rockefeller Center in New York City. Here in America, we say Merry Christmas as our Christmas greeting. This giant Christmas tree in Rockefeller Center is famous in the United States, and about 500,000 people visit it each day. Whew, that's a lot of people. It usually has about seven miles of lights on it. The crystal star at the top is worth $1.5 million. You can skate under the tree. So make sure to take a picture. You'll want to remember this tree. In fact, this picture is the picture that you need for your scrapbook. So in the back of your scrapbook where you have your photos, you need to cut out the picture of the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree in New York City and glue that to the photo box. We're gonna drive down now from New York City to see Christmas in the capital of the United States. That's in Washington, D.C. This pretty tree that you see there is in front of the Capitol building where lawmakers meet to create new laws for the United States. Let's talk about how people decorate for Christmas in America. People put up Christmas trees with lights and ornaments like you see on the left side of the picture. They put up wreaths, that would be round things like Christmas trees, but it's round and they hang it on their doors. They put up, they hang stockings by the fireplace. Remember, we learned that they do that in Canada as well. Nutcrackers are also popular decorations. The nutcracker, it, um, you can see that it's to the right of the tree standing up there. There's actually two in the picture. Oop, no, I'm sorry, there's three in the picture. One in between the Christmas tree and the clock and then two on each side of the fireplace. One is behind the elf. Nutcrackers are uh, very common. They, when you put like a walnut 
in, in the mouth of the nutcracker and there's a handle in the back. And when you lift it up and put it down, it cracks open the nut and you can eat the inside. Some people like to string lights on the outside of their homes. Even here in Roatan, people do that. Let's talk about some Christmas traditions. Don't forget, here is the part where you need to write it down in your scrapbook. So if you see it in bold and underlined, it means it's something that fills in the blank in your scrapbook. Sometimes elves visit children leading up to Christmas, leaving gifts, mischief, and magic. Now we know that that's not true, but this is a tradition, a fun tradition that people say. Elves can look like the one in this photo, but others are smaller or larger. So you see that elf in that picture? People call him the elf on the shelf. Some keep an eye out to be sure kids are being nice and will report back to Santa if they are not. Many children leave Santa cookies and milk on Christmas Eve. And they will also leave treats for reindeer. Reindeer food is a favorite of reindeer. Just sprinkle oats with a little glitter or sparkly sugar in the grass on Christmas Eve. They also like carrots. In your scrapbook, you have a box there that says a little bag of reindeer food. So you can draw in there what you would leave out for a reindeer to eat. And then make sure that you color the reindeer picture that is beside the box. That is it for our trip to the United States. But before you leave the United States, make sure that you do the reading comprehension on the back of your scrapbook page. So you need to read the page about the United States and answer the two questions that um, from your reading. So read it carefully and answer the two questions on the back of your United States scrapbook page. All right. Now that we're on our plane again, we are headed for Mexico. That's our second stop for the day, Mexico, right to the south of the United States. Santa, who is Santa Claus in Spanish, is checking his list twice at the airport. Do you have your boarding pass ready? It's time to fly to Mexico. Let's add our visa for Mexico. There we are. Now we're going to leave the airport and head into Mexico. We're here. This is the country of Mexico that you see there. But where in the world is that on our map? Let's check it out. We just left America where the purple star is. And we're headed here to Mexico where the green star is. So be sure to mark that on your map. The Mexican flag has a green bar on the side, white in the middle, and a red bar on the other side. So be sure to color in the correct colors on your flag on your scrapbook page. Then you have a brown eagle with a green snake that you can color in as well. Make sure that it matches. Mexico is also a part of North America. It is located south of the United States. Mexico City, the capital of Mexico, is the largest city. Feliz Navidad. That means Merry Christmas in Spanish, the language people speak in Mexico. Now, you know some Mexican words are a little different than um, Honduran words, but Feliz Navidad is the same. We are at the Metropolitan Cathedral in Zocalo, Mexico. People come here to ice skate outdoors and attend church services at one of the oldest and largest cathedrals, that means a big church, in Latin America. So for your scrapbook page, let's take a picture of this cathedral. You'll need to take the photo, cut it out from the back, and paste it on your uh, scrapbook page for Mexico of this cathedral. How do Mexicans decorate? Well, although Christmas trees are becoming popular, the most important decoration in Mexican homes is the nativity scene, also known as the nacimiento. Is that what you call it here in Honduras? Sometimes the figures are life-size, meaning as big as people, and others are small and can fit on a table. 
Poinsettia flowers are also used to decorate homes. Poinsettia flowers are beautiful red flowers with green, uh, with green leaves. Well, the, the red part is actually a leaf too, but it looks like the petals of a flower. So on your scrapbook page, you have a big circle there that you can draw a poinsettia flower in. Let's talk about some more traditions. Don't forget to fill in the blanks on your scrapbook. Las posadas last nine nights, nueve noches. During posadas, people will walk in a parade, carrying candles knocking on doors like Mary and Joseph when they were looking for a place to have baby Jesus. After being turned away from many homes, one final home will welcome everyone in to pray, celebrate, eat, and break open a piñata. Each night, a different house hosts the posada party. On the final night of posadas, a baby Jesus figure is placed in the manger and the family goes to midnight mass. After church, there are fireworks to celebrate. That sounds like a fun tradition, don't you think? Pinatas shaped like stars are used for decorations and for fun. Children are blindfolded and hit the pinata with a stick until it breaks open and treats. Candy falls out. You have a box on your scrapbook page for you to draw some candy from the pinata. Here's a picture of a poinsettia so you know what kind of flower you need to draw in your scrapbook. Many families decorate their homes with the Noche Buena, the Christmas Eve flower, at Christmas. The flower, also known as the poinsettia, has a special story. It is said that one Christmas Eve in Mexico, a poor little girl had nothing to offer baby Jesus at Christmas Eve Mass. Her brother assured her that even the smallest gift, given with love, would make Jesus happy. She grabbed a handful of weeds and brought them to set at the crib. Everyone was astonished when the weeds transformed into a bright red star flowers. It was a miracle, and the flowers were given the name Flowers of the Holy Night. Now again, this story is not a true story, but it's a tradition, and so that's why this flower is very special in Mexico at Christmas time. In addition to eating traditional Mexican dishes, such as tamales, tacos, and enchiladas, this cake, called the Rosca de Reyes, Three Kings Cake, is served on Epiphany on January 6th. On this day, children receive gifts or candy from the Three Kings. Just as the Three Kings came later for, uh, to see Jesus, this day is celebrated a little later. So don't forget to write this in your scrapbook that they eat tamales, tacos, and enchiladas, as well as Rosca de Reyes. That's it for our trip to Mexico, but before we leave, don't forget you also have a reading comprehension on the back of your Mexico page. So you have two reading comprehensions to complete today. Your scrapbook pages about um, the United States and Mexico and your reading comprehension pages about the United States and Mexico. Now flip to the back of your scrapbook. Let's fill in the names of Santa Claus that we've learned today. Starting with um, the United States, oops, sorry, the United States is not on our page because we just call him Santa Claus in the United States. So we just have Mexico. The box for Mexico is right next to Canada. So what is the name for Santa Claus in Mexico? Santo Claus, so S-A-N-T-O-E-L-O-S. All right, that is it for today. Thank you so much for coming with me on our trip to the U.S. and Mexico. Tomorrow, we're going to travel to France. All right, bye.